Deep relaxation, which is also called yoga nidra, is a really important part of your yoga practice. It's done at the end to let your body assimilate the benefit of the poses. So I'm going to recline in a typical shavasana, a relaxation pose. And then I'm also going to show you a variation that's really helpful if you have a tight low back. So my reclined pose is relaxed. To release my low back, I can move to constructive rest with my knees stacked against each other and the feet wide. In yoga nidra, what's comfortable for my body, as I do have um, quite a bit of reflux and GERD, uh, is to place a rolled blanket under my knees, as well as a stair-stacked set of blankets to help with incline so that that stomach acid just doesn't come right up. Another little blanket under your neck for added comfort. Open your hands and lay back and breathe. Another option that might be available for these same benefits, and if you have acid reflux, at a studio with bolsters is you can build what we call a yoga recliner. You take one bolster and lay it this way and another bolster this way. And lean back. If you have shoulder issues, then you can stick the box under your elbows. And I have a beautiful yoga recliner. Remember that you can do yoga nidra in your bed. It's a lovely way to end your yoga practice and relax.